Hello, thanks for tuning in to KRDS, Redis' number one hit station. Join me for a quick intro to lists, one of the many Redis data types. In this video, I'll explain what Redis lists are, how they work, and how they'll help us organize and deliver round the clock hits. You'll want to turn up the volume on this one. All right. So think of a list as an ordered sequence of strings comparable to a Java array list, a JavaScript array, or a Python list. Lists are great for storing strings, but you can also use them to implement stacks and queues. In our example today, we'll be using lists to represent a radio station's playlist. Each playlist is effectively a queue. We'll learn how to add and remove songs, how to view the next five songs, and how to see how many songs we have left to play. For our radio station, we'll keep a Redis list called Playlist. Each element in our list will be the ID of a song. When adding new elements, we say that we're pushing them onto the list. We push elements onto the right-hand side of the list using the rpush command. Phil Collins' classic hit, Sue Studio? That's under the song ID 25, so we'll store the number 25 in our queue. Our command will be rpush playlist 25. Sade's smooth operator, that's 71. Our next command will be rpush playlist 71. Now that we have some smooth grooves all queued up, it's just a matter of removing the first one we pushed into our playlist to know which song to play next. Since we're pushing all of our songs to the right-hand side, we'll remove, or pop, the songs from the left-hand side. The command to remove an element from our queue is lpop, so we'll run lpop playlist. Once we've popped the next song ID, we'll get the song from our database and play it on air. Now that we've stored our songs in a queue, how can we find the next five songs scheduled to play? We'll use the lrange command. The lrange command returns elements within a list between a given start and end index offset. Here, we're asking for the first to the fifth elements. So our starting index is zero and our ending index is four. The complete lrange command is lrange playlist 04. Lastly, we'll want to ensure our playlist is adequately full of songs. Otherwise, we'll have radio silence. To check the length of a Redis list, use the ln command. ln playlist returns the number of items in our queue, seven. Okay, let's talk about the performance of the various list commands we've covered. lpop, rpush, and ln are all O of 1 constant time complexity operations, so performance isn't dependent on the length of the list. Constant time complexity is as efficient as it gets. L range is O of s plus n, where s is the distance of the start offset from the head and n is the number of elements in the specified range. You need to be careful with L range, especially when dealing with extra long lists or when retrieving thousands or more elements. Okay, let's review what we've covered in this segment. We've learned how to model a queue using a list and its R push and L pop commands. We learned how to get the first five elements from a list with L range. We've also learned how to get the length of a list using L len. What will you do with Redis lists? A single list can hold over 4 billion entries. You don't have to rock this jam on repeat. And lists aren't just for what you might normally think of as lists. Need a queue? Just use R push and L pop. Need a stack? Use R push and R pop. Traverse a list? Remember, L range. To learn more about Redis lists, tune into our free online course, Introduction to Redis Data Structures. It's part of Redis University, our online learning platform for all things Redis. Thanks for joining me in this Redis list listening session. Hope to see you again, and don't touch that dial.